Facing Waves is brought to you by the Croatian National Tourist Board. Visit us online at croatia.hr. Welcome back to Facing Waves. This week, we're following a group of NRS team paddlers as they explore the beautiful Croatian countryside with paddle in hand. With local outfitters offering scenic and whitewater paddling trips with no experience necessary, Croatia's spectacular river valleys are accessible to anyone wishing to experience their magic. One of the unique attractions to the area is a maze of caves that time has sculpted into the mountainside. On all the rivers that we've been to, there's always been some form of epic tunnel system behind a waterfall or behind a rapid or something, um, simply because the, the river's just eating away at the surrounding material because it's so soft. I guess the way that the waterfalls are formed is by different bands of rock and the water erodes underneath and around these rocks and it just creates these awesome caves where you can paddle all the way behind. And they're super beautiful as well. There's moss everywhere, there's big stalactites and um, water dripping from the ceiling, stuff like that, so really cool caves um, and definitely one of the highlights of kayaking here is seeing some cool places that you probably wouldn't see if you were just a normal tourist. So it is quite amazing when you paddle down and you're in the river and you look to your right and you can just see through into these dark pits and holes where you can just walk straight into them. It's quite a special, uh, special occasion really. You are right beside them, you don't have to trek to get to a cave, you paddle right past them. On one of the rivers we, we pulled up at the side and there was a small tributary coming in. Uh, that had formed a waterfall into the main river and you could climb behind it and there was even some siphons that you could swim through. And there were some real cool rock formations, like real nice big, big old stalagmites and stalactites kicking around and it was all mossy and kind of raining inside, it was real nice. First off, it's like kind of blackish, then your eyes get used to the missing sun, and then you start to see like stalagmites, which like developed in like thousands of years, and you're like in that cave where like small currents coming through, and it's like super beautiful, super unique place. You have like small rock channels where you can dive through, and you're pretty much diving into the dark and just like feeling where you're going, and it's like go on, move on in that cave, and you see light somewhere, so you walk over there and you see like another curtain of waterfall, or, like another entrance in the cave, and yeah, super unique place and super beautiful for sure. You'd never know that there was a cave there unless you were shown almost. So the guides, they took us in there and we were expecting to just be able to maybe get one or two people in there and the cave just kept going back. There was just more and more. The more you um, went in, the further, you, uh, the further the cave went back. So, And there was waterfalls over the top as well, so you couldn't really see the entrance to the cave. Um, they're kind of blocked by their falling water. It kind of looks like a diff another world because there's all these rocks are super smooth and bubbly and lots more life than you'd expect in, in the cave, so really cool place to go. This is the way which we use to uh, bring our clients around the dangerous rapid, which is on the river, it's like a big siphon, which is very risky to run. It's unrunnable with the raft. We do it for the safety. People don't go on a very dangerous rapid and sometimes they see something really, really amazing. And uh, I've been there, I don't know, thousands and thousands of times and every time when I come in really I just stay uh, without work. One of the great things about any kind of paddling is that once you've got the right gear you're set for years to come. The trick is choosing the right gear in the beginning and so let's take a quick look at what we're using on this Croatian adventure. To whitewater paddle is to be wet and so you generally need warmer gear than for other activities. To deal with the cool water and shaded canyons of the creeks in Croatia, we used NRS's Crux Dry Suit, which is the ultimate solution for staying dry and comfortable on the river. Over top the Crux Dry Suit, the most important piece of safety gear we used was NRS's Zen Rescue Life Jacket, which combines key rescue features like a quick release belt with a low profile, ultra comfortable design that doesn't get in the way of your paddling. When we made the move from our whitewater boats to stand up paddle boards, we knew we couldn't go wrong with NRS's Earl and SAR inflatable SUPs. 
Both are durable, all-round SUPs that are fun to paddle and can handle almost any conditions. And best of all, they pack into their own backpacks to make traveling a breeze.